Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in today's video you will learn how you can use and apply your aloe vera gel to your face. And I'm going to include a little demonstration so that you also know exactly how much you need to use of it and how you can also blend it all over. Now you can use your aloe vera gel in the morning and or evening, but you can also reapply it during the day if you should feel the need. But what's really important is the amount of product that you're going to use. Because if you're going to use too much of your aloe vera gel, it can feel sticky, tight and uncomfortable fairly quickly. And to avoid that, I also recommend starting off with a little bit. Now I'm going to include a little demonstration which is fairly straightforward but then I also want to go into how you can combine your aloe vera gel also with other skincare products in case you may want to include a toner or other serums or your moisturizer and what comes before your aloe vera gel and what can you apply afterwards because this can sometimes be very like tricky. Now for the application of your aloe vera gel itself, if you're going to apply it in the morning and or evening, I recommend starting off with the first step, which is also washing your face with a gentle and suitable cleanser for your skin and type as well as skin needs. So that you also have a freshly washed and clean face before moving on to your aloe vera gel. Now I have already washed my face, so I'm also ready for the application. Now, when it comes to your aloe vera gel, I recommend starting off with a little bit, like about a pea size amount. And based on that, see how you can apply it and blend it all over your face, maybe your neck and decolletage, and based on that also adjust it. I do not recommend starting off with using too much of it because then it's also difficult to find the right amount of product that you should use. So if you haven't used enough, you always can add more, but if you have used too much of it, you have to wash everything off again. So therefore, in that specific case, start off with a little bit and then adjust upon that. Now I'm going to start off with a small amount, which I'm going to also use my fingers for and then also apply it with my hands. So about that much. And I also like to apply it and blend it down my neck as well, but that's of course personal preference. Then I like to also use it between my hands and then gently apply it all over your face, neck and maybe decolletage. And so you may also find it very interesting when you're also using it for the first time and you're new to an aloe vera gel. If you're going to apply it to your face and you feel like the amount that you have used looks like not much, then please don't also get confused because once you're also applying your aloe vera gel to your face, it kind of melts and then it feels like you're actually applying a bit more. So that's the tricky part about it. It may not look like you're using a lot when also seeing it in the palm of your hands or maybe when you're also using it on your fingertips. But once you're blending it, you actually can see that you can also blend it quite evenly and also quickly over all those areas. So in that specific case, the amount can trick you. Therefore, I recommend start off with a little bit, then see how far you can also blend it and also how it feels on your face, neck and decolletage, and then based on that, adjust it. Maybe you have already picked the right amount and it just feels great and you have covered all the areas that you also want to cover with aloe vera gel. But if you should feel the need to also use a bit more, again, just start off by adding a bit more and see how this also will feel on the skin. And then you also get an idea of how much you actually need. This can be fairly individual, but generally speaking, you don't need a lot of product. Now I have applied it evenly all over my face as well as neck and a bit of my decolletage and it feels great. It shouldn't feel sticky, it shouldn't feel tight, it shouldn't feel like you're wearing a mask because if that's the case you probably use too much and the product is also fairly sitting on top of your skin and it does not really sink into the skin. So please make sure that you're also going to avoid that feeling because this is what it should not feel like. It should feel like you have basically applied nothing at all because it was able to fully sink into the skin. Now this also leads me now to the next part of my video which is also combining it with other skincare products. If you should feel the need, depending also on your preference, to also use a moisturizer afterwards that also includes heavier ingredients like the methicone or shea butter, you can do so and apply it after your aloe vera gel. This is of course personal preference, but you could add your moisturizer that's heavier than your aloe vera gel 
after you have applied your aloe vera gel. And again, don't use too much. Just use about a pea-sized amount. Use it all over your face, neck, and back detach, and that's basically it. So you can also combine your moisturizer with your aloe vera gel. That's totally fine. If you're new to it, you aren't sure about if you should or should not, try it. Try it one day by just using the aloe vera gel on its own, and then on another day, try it when also combining it with your moisturizer and also see what feels the best, and based on that, adjust it based on your preference. And then also when it comes to your toner, maybe exfoliant, serum, um, then this may be a little bit more trickier. Like always your first step is going to be washing your face with your cleanser. That's always going to be the first step. Doesn't matter if you're using it in the morning or evening. So that you also have a freshly washed and clean face. Then if you want to include a toner in your skincare routine, this is going to be your second step after cleansing. So you're going to use your toner before applying your aloe vera gel. Then if you also want to include a toner or like um, toner mixed with exfoliant or your exfoliant itself, like uh, the glycolic acid one, then you're going to use this one after your toner, but still before you're applying your aloe vera gel. And then when it comes to the trickiest part, which are also different treatments and serums, this is basically where you have to look into what serum are you using and also basically just trying it out. I have a few serums in front of me so that I can also give um, a little bit more of an instruction and also give you an idea of what you can look for. Some zones are a little bit thicker in texture, some zones are also a little bit more like an oil, therefore you may also want to use them afterwards. You have also sometimes treatments that are a little bit more cream-like, Therefore, also, you may want to use them afterwards. But if you have a zone that's very thin in texture, like water, then you also may want to use it beforehand. And those are the types of uh, like products that I have in front of me. So I have, for example, the Paula's Choice Vitamin C Booster. That one has a very thin texture and that it also feels like water because it sinks into the skin fairly quickly. Like once you have applied it, it has already sinked into the skin. If you have kind of like that type of serum that's also very thin feeling wise, then um, you may also want to use it before your aloe vera gel because it just feels better on the skin. And also in that specific case, when also looking at the texture of your serum, you may want to use it beforehand because your aloe vera gel is a little bit thicker. Then you also have sometimes serums like the Paula's Choice Niacinamide, which is thicker in texture, and niacinamide itself has already like the um, strength to also keep the moisture basically inside, like to also reduce the water loss. Then in such a serum, for example, when it also includes niacinamide, you may also want to use it after your aloe vera gel, because it already acts like a seal. So you have to basically try it, like try it out, see the actual ingredient, what it can do for your skin, and based on that also adjust it, um, what you can use before, as well as what you can use afterwards. Then if you also have like a serum that does not include any water, that has a little bit more like an oil-like texture, or if you also want to include an oil in your skincare routine, you may want to use it after your aloe vera gel because it just feels much better on the skin and your aloe vera gel is able to sink into the skin. Whereas if you would do it your oil before and then your aloe vera gel on top of it, it may not be able to sink properly, properly into the skin and it kind of just like sits on top of the skin. So therefore trying it out, try out uh, using your serum at first and then your aloe vera gel afterwards or your aloe vera gel at first and then your serum afterwards can also give you an idea of how you should use different products which you also want to include in your skincare routine. That's what I've done myself and I figured out for me, for example, niacinamide can be used before or afterwards. It feels good on the skin but based on what the ingredient like does itself when also applying it to your skin, you may want to use it afterwards. However, with the vitamin C, because it is so thin in texture, I prefer to use it before my aloe vera gel. And then with the oil, I like to use it afterwards. Now, if you have treatments like an azelaic acid, um, this one is from Paula's Choice. This has like a cream texture and it's also a bit thicker in texture. If you have a treatment like this, you may want to use it after your aloe vera gel because your aloe vera gel is able to sink into the skin quite quickly and therefore is also thinner than certain treatments. 
But this is also something that you have to try out when also applying it all over your face so that you have an idea of what feels better, what sinks better into the skin, what works in general better for you. And then based on that, adjust it. But generally speaking, with the cream products, you may want to use them afterwards. Then again, you may also want to use a moisturizer after your aloe vera gel, which is personal preference. But then if you have like an um, as lake like this one right here, which is from The Ordinary, that one includes a lot of dimethicone and it also has a cream-like texture. But it's a bit different than the as lake acid that I showed you beforehand. But still, when also using this one, based on when also looking at the ingredients and also how it feels on the skin, this one either way sits a bit more on top of the skin. So therefore, because I know that the aloe vera gel that I used sinks quickly into the skin, I want to use this one on top. And then also lastly, when also being exposed to the sun and also applying it during the day, then also don't forget your sunscreen, which you would use um, either after your aloe vera gel or also after your aloe vera gel, your moisturizer and then layer the sunscreen on top. That's also a combination that you can do. But basically, your toner is always before your as like uh, before you're going to use your aloe vera. Your exfoliant is also going to be before applying your aloe vera. With the zones, you have to play around, and then your moisturizer, sunscreen is also afterwards. So this is the general like um, idea that I want to share with you. If you also want to include more than one product in your skincare routine and also combine it with your aloe vera gel, basically play around, see what works and feels the best for you. And based on that, you're also going to use the products. Now I do hope that you also enjoyed this video that also could help you figuring out how much you need to use of it, how you can apply it and also how you can include it in your skincare routine. If you like this video, please also don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.